Okay, so here is my review of the Holiday Inn Kensington Forum in London, the fifth biggest hotel in London with over 900 rooms. Um, so I checked in and actually um, the room was quite small and I'm here for five days. So I asked them if they had a bigger room and they were kind enough to give me this bigger room, executive room, also accessible room. Um, so a few of the things are more suitable for you know people in wheelchairs, etc. But so much more space, we can get a football match going in here. So first thing that upset me though, no biscuits, come on holiday in, where are your biscuits? I know, I know, I know there's a pandemic on, but come on, you, you can give us a bicky, can't you? Come on. Anyway, let's move on. Fridge, perfect. Got a safe there, luggage storage, wardrobe area, iron and ironing board. No plug sockets near the bed, unfortunately, but the other room that I was staying on did have. Um, got a desk area here with a decent sized hotel. Hotel, decent sized TV. That would be better, wouldn't it? There we go, some jaws there. Okay, quite a low bed, but again, it's accessible, but it's fine, because if you fall out of bed and it's low, you're not going to hurt yourself as much, are you? Uh, okay, let's have a look. Seating area there. Second floor, so the view isn't going to be anything special, um, but it's fine, it's okay. And then a really big bathroom in here. Low sink, toilet. Great. Holiday in Kensington Forum. During the pandemic, so we can understand the biscuits, but but come on, holiday and get your biscuits out, and I'll be a lot happier. And I'll do my review after the first night for part two. Okay, so this is the perfect example why I always do another follow-up review the following day or a couple of days later when I'm at a hotel. So I'm in room 232. This is the second room because the first one was too small. So after the first night, I woke up, washed my face in the sink, went to the toilet, Flush the toilet and, and it was absolutely blocked. Um, it wasn't good, so I was going to have a shower and then tell the guys when I was leaving for the day so they could fix it when I was gone. So get in the shower, have a shower, and as the water's draining, the water starts bubbling up from the toilet through the sink. So, sorry to be vulgar, but human waste up through the sink, bubbling away. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, you know, I... Uh, I've, I had a shower this morning in here because I had to leave, but I've had to fill, keep the water in the in the bath because if it drains, it's going to overflow the toilet again, and, and that that's not nice. That's not nice at all. So yesterday I go out. Okay, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Did you see that? It was just bubbling up. No, all I've done was empty the um, bit of the bath water. So oh, here we go again. <laughs> this is crazy. So. Yesterday, as I left for the day, I went to reception um, and they said they would fix it. So I assumed that was it. Great, yeah. So, come back last night. Um, <laughs> came back last night, um, stayed in my room, had some dinner, went, went to bed, wasn't feeling too great. Um, woke up the next day, which is this morning, went to the toilet and it was blocked again. So it wasn't fixed. I must note, that yesterday there was no note under my door with any reason why it wasn't fixed. It looked like it was fixed, but until this morning, I didn't know. This is absolutely disgusting. I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I'm apologizing if you're a bit squeamish on this. There's human waste now coming out. And I think the bathroom might now start flooding with human waste. Okay, so. Oh, bugger, okay, yep. Yeah, I need to try and block this. Most of the water come out of here if I can, because this is going to not go well. So, I went up to the lobby and he said, oh, we're really sorry, I was going to try and contact you. Um, we can't fix it, we've got to change rooms. But they could have left a note under my door, couldn't they? Really easy. Or left a message on the phone. So, brings me up a different room key. He said, look, for now, use this other room and then you can move your stuff out later, because I know you've got to go early today. So I go to the next room. Room number three, which is 237, I go in there, open the toilet, and there's human waste in the bottom of the toilet. <laughs> I felt absolutely sick. Flushed it away, and it stank the whole bathroom out, the whole room out. Um, so I had to, had to leave that room. So I'm now ready for the day, got to go out for the day for work, um, and just speak to reception and get another room. But that'll be the fourth room. Um, it's not good enough. It is absolutely not good enough. This is 
I would say I think the worst hotel I've ever stayed in and, and on an average year, a non COVID year, I stay in over a hundred hotels a night and there's been some pretty bad ones. This is the worst hotel in terms of human waste coming up through the sink and for the toilet. That's just not good enough. This is a four star hotel in London. So, 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 my opinion is I'm never ever coming back here and my opinion is that no one should book here. I'm now going to change rooms and um, if it gets worse again, I'll, I'll add another video onto the end of this. If not, that's that. Okay, and here we are in room number four. This this is not a joke now. I really, I really can't stand this. This is not a joke. I'm in room number four in a few days of staying at the Holiday Inn in Kensington Forum, and we've got a leak at the back of the toilet. So water waste is leaking from the back of the toilet, dripping down on the floor. Wow. Could, honestly, I honestly couldn't think this could get any worse. But it has.